why you are getting injuries in the gym. Now, this is a topic that, believe me, I probably have the most experience in. I've had an unnecessary amount of injuries, which in the good is, is a good thing, but I would prefer for you to not get injuries because they're the most annoying thing you'll ever have. Now, my body is young, so if you're older and you get an injury, it's a little bit more catastrophic, but because I'm younger, it doesn't matter as much. It means I learn. Most people go to the gym and then bump out a load of sets and never go to the gym again. Some people go to the gym and are scared to get an injury. And to be honest, I was when I was younger. That's when I was younger. I've grown up. I know the risk. I know the reward. And the reward is much higher than the risk. The risk. So I know the rewards and I know the risks. So take it as you will. But the probably the first main point and probably the most important point is your form. You probably are doing the wrong form. So look up the form for each exercise. Use use look up the form for each exercise. I'm not gonna go through each exercise because that'll take me years. But look for yourself. Go on YouTube, Instagram, whatever. Look for the form for each exercise of what you should do because there's a good chance you're doing it wrong. I was doing the incline bench press for years. I was doing the dumbbell one for a long time and I was doing and for that one I guess I was doing the right form but for a barbell you have to <laughs> now I was doing dumbbell incline bench press for a long time and then I switched to a smith machine if you know what a smith machine is it's one that can hook on to hooks so if you if you need to bail out then you can just hook it on and you, you won't die uh, but I had my form completely wrong and I got an, a neck injury my neck actually popped popped it only lasted a few days so I was lucky but it was really bad and that was one of the worst injuries I had another one which I got pretty much just about the same time was a bicep injury it still plagues me today it still hasn't fully recovered so I have to be careful of my biceps uh, I can do pull-ups again, I can do all that stuff, but I have to be careful of how much I lift. And that's a result of wrong form, mainly, for the neck injury. And for the bicep injury, it was for not doing warm-up sets. I didn't do warm-up sets for years. I haven't done them really at all. And I've been doing the gym for five years now, since I was nine years old. And... I never did a single warm-up set. You might be thinking, well, it's not that big of a deal. Well, it is, because you need to get your muscle engaged. You can't just go straight into the workout. That's what I was doing. That's why I kept getting injuries. I got a back injury at one point, a neck injury, a knot in my shoulders about 10 times. You know that is? Shoulder kind of knots together, and then it's really stiff and sore done that a lot of times then obviously the neck injury then also the then also the neck injury then also the bicep injury I also injured my hip which was from a different thing it was from rugby and that's because I didn't do the proper warm ups warm ups are the most important part of any thing you do really <coughs> so don't neglect them Those two things alone will pretty much guarantee you will not get an injury. Another thing is, don't push yourself too hard. Learn your limits. It's going to take trial and error in the gym. But once you learn your limits, then you basically can get an injury. by learn your limits well learn how many reps you can pump out with a certain weight and a certain exercise learn the weight that you can do on a certain exercise don't stupidly double your weight when you're doing 220 pounds on a bench press you go up to 400 well obviously you're not gonna be able to do that it's a lot of weight i can't do 200 pounds i probably would do 100 
hundred and something pounds. <clears throat> I know my limits. I know what I push myself for. I don't go to the gym to to get a new weight. Okay, obviously I do progressive overload, but I don't go to the gym just to get stronger. I go to the gym to get muscle and look good. I don't really care if I if I can do half the weight you can, but I look better than you, then well obviously I'm gonna be happier being obviously I'm gonna be better off looking obviously I'll be better off if I look good. So understand what you're going to the gym for. I always used to push myself for strength and then realize what am I doing this for? Went back to muscle growth. muscle growth. Went back to muscle growth. Now that is probably the big reason why you get injuries is you push yourself too hard <coughs> just sidetracked there cut that out now once you've understand once you understand your limits how to approach an exercise and the form of an exercise you can't get an injury you, you physically can't get an injury unless you another thing is not taking the amount, the amount of rest that you need you need a rest day unless you're able to unless you take the right foods and the right amount of unless you take the right foods and drinks then you need a rest day once in a while you can go 8 straight days and then you can go for 8 straight days and then you can go for eight days straight and then take a rest. It doesn't have to be every week. You can still take a rest. Your body needs to recover. And if you can't recover and it's still fatigued when you do your next workout, it won't be as good. You'll push yourself harder and you'll get an injury. Stupid way to go about the gym. Take your rest when you can. Or when you, your body doesn't feel like it needs a gym. Now, I'm not saying neglect the gym because I always did this I always used to say oh I'm not feeling too good today just do it anyway usually your mind tricks you into thinking you you're not feeling it but if you're actually aching you're stiff really stiff then take a break the recovery is the most important part of the gym so remember that but if you do all these key things you'll never get an injury <laughs> If you do all of these key things, which, to be honest, is probably impossible, but if you do all these key things, you won't get an injury. The likelihood is you will get an injury first before you actually apply all these things. But, you know, go to the gym with a winning mindset. Now, if you apply all these things, you won't get an injury. So come back to this video whenever you need. And remember all these tips. Other than that, that's all I have. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. If you enjoy any other videos, subscribe. Because I'm on the journey to masculinity. And each video I put up, I want to help you on your road to masculinity. To become a masculine man or woman. Whatever. Now if you like the sound of that, you already know what to do. Other than that, good luck. Other than that, other than that have a good day.